and check out how you can get your entire box full of printer blocks today. Hey everybody, it's Joe. And if you've been watching your subscription feed, well, you are a rare creature and bless you. But I have been uploading a number of shorts recently. Shorts where I am taking a bunch of these sample rolls of filament and turning them into a printer box full of printer blocks. Well, I filled up not one, but two boxes full of printer blocks. And I'd like to give some of those away to some of you. And in this video, I will tell you how to do that. But I don't want to bury the lead. The real point of this video is that I want your help in brainstorming what the next big 3D printing professor Kickstarter idea is going to be. Every year on this channel, I run a Kickstarter. Now, the purpose of this Kickstarter is multitudinal. The money that I get from those Kickstarters allow me to fund the production of more and better videos. It allows me to get you know, some of the new things like this new shelf that I am putting my 3D printers on and, and upgrading my space little by little as I go. It also enabled me to get the camera and the sound recording equipment and just about everything that you see here was funded by that Kickstarter money from the past. That money also enables me to travel and to see you guys where you are. In fact, I want this year to go to more fairs and conventions. And right now I have plans to see three. Uh, on April 1st, there is a maker fair in California, which for me is a short drive. And so I'll just drive there, no problem. Then on April 22nd, there is the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival in Colorado, which again is just a short drive for me. And so anything in the Midwest, I can probably hit. Now I don't have anything else on my radar right now until October when the Coney Island Maker Fair will be happening way out on the East Coast. And that is a big trip and that is a expensive trip and that's going to be a difficult one. And I really, really need your support to be able to make those trips. And while I have no doubt that if I ran a campaign that was basically help fund the 3D printing professors campaign to make the world a better place through 3D printing, that many of you would actually back that campaign. I do want my Kickstarter campaigns to be a little bit more meaningful, to be something that makes the world a better place. And I think giving you guys something to fire up your 3D printers and print is making the world a better place. And I think that that's been borne out because a lot of my past Kickstarters, like, well, my first big Kickstarter, the low poly dinos, and as well the Chibi Malls Kickstarters, keep getting tapped by IC3D's Toys for Tots Christmas campaign, and people are 3D printing these for kids, and I absolutely love that. Now, the past couple of Kickstarters have all been Print-A-Block. There's been Print-A-Block Mechs, and Print-A-Block Beasts, and Print-A-Block Skyforce, and while I do enjoy these, I've tried to move Print-A-Block off of the Kickstarter and onto my Patreon for continued development. And there have been some good development happening with those. If you weren't aware, I've recently released a castle blocks set that you can use to build castles. And I'm working on the second set of those so that we can build an even bigger and cooler castle. There's also a terrain block set as well with a sci-fi kind of look to it. And it opens up like a like a dollhouse there that you can check out. So printer block development has continued off of the Kickstarter, but it hasn't been as focused or as intense or as much as it would happen in a Kickstarter. Before I go on and share some of my ideas about what I could do in a Kickstarter, let me tell you what you need to do if you want to get this box of printer blocks. Now, to begin with, I want you to be subscribed to this channel. Then what you need to do is join my Discord. The link is in the description. Now, once you're on the Discord, you gotta make at least one post in one of two channels. There is the What You Making channel where you post a picture of something that you made. And it doesn't have to be 3D printed. It could be macrame or just a really good meal that you made from scratch. But if you made it, I'd like to see it. 
or you could make a post in the project ideas channel. That's where you'd post either something that you saw somebody else do that you were like, ooh, I'd like to do that, or an idea that you have for a video that I could do and just go, ooh, I'd like to see the 3D printing professor do this. Now, once you've done that, I hope that you'll hang around, but if you decide not to, that's fine. And if you wanna turn off notifications for the Discord, that's fine, but make sure you keep notifications on on the one channel that is 3DP Professor Did A Thing, because that is the channel where I will announce when it's time to do the giveaway. Now, yes, right now I'm giving away one of two of these, but I am making more of them kind of constantly. So I will probably have other giveaways and that is the channel where I will be announcing them. So you want to have notifications on on that channel to make sure that you don't miss any of the giveaways that will happen in the future. So now I want to talk about some of the ideas that I have for a future Kickstarter, but I don't want to override any idea that you might have. So if there is something that you want to see 3D modeled, if there is something that you want to 3D print and you think would be a great idea if somebody used their time and talent to model so that you could 3D print them, then pause the video now and write it in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. Talking about different ideas. You remember the low poly dinos? Love them. And they were all designed to print without supports so that you could print them on any 3D printer. Well, what if we did high poly dinos? What if we made them beautiful and detailed and, and had little uh, uh, details throughout the entire thing and made them look a lot better? It would be a lot more work. I probably couldn't do as many of them as I did with the low poly dinos, but you know, just having like a bucket of toys that you 3D printed that are as high quality as any that you would get in the store, I think that would be really cool and something that, you know, I feel like we need. Again, they would print without supports, but I definitely push things a little bit more. Or what about low poly animals? We could just take high quality animal models, again, designed to print without supports, to print easily, but we could do your favorite animal in a 3D printing low poly style. You know, since I did the Chibi Malls Kickstarter, Chibi Malls have matured dramatically, well, in my mind. And while I would love to develop more Chibi Malls, what I would really love to do is develop a multimedia Chibi Mall experience, a cartoon that would showcase the different toys and animals, but also would just be a lot of fun to watch. Now, I feel like the development of a Chibi Mall, World of Chibi Malls cartoon is something that I should do after I make a pilot. But, you know, if that's something that you guys think I could absolutely sell and would be something that you'd want to back, well, maybe that's another idea. And of course, there's more Print-A-Block. Now, I have been developing the Print-A-Block Landcraft tiles that, you know, are for terrain and things like that. You can use them to build buildings, or if you were so inclined, you could use them to make RPG-like maps. But while I've got the uh, kind of sci-fi and a little bit of the castle set, well, we could use these as launching off ports. There are, there's so many more castles. We could make wooden buildings. We could make buildings. We could make sewers. We could make all kinds of things. I think there's a lot more that could be done with an intense development during a Kickstarter. But what do you think? Do any of those ideas spark your interest and make you go, ooh, yeah? Or is there another idea that you'd like me to consider? Sound off in the comments, sound off in the Discord. I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I want to thank you very much for watching and remind you that you are a child of God, so you're special. So you should take care of yourself and, if you can, someone else. I'll see you next time. Rainbow Lion. <laughs>